Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome back. So on today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can make your own edge banding clamps for $1.50 each. So I hope you guys stick around. Now that we have our extra large rubber bands and the clamps that we picked up for 99 cents each, I'm going to take you over to the workbench and I'm going to show you how to assemble these. Okay, so before we go ahead and start just cutting this up into pieces, I have an idea. Milo! Alright, the first thing I want to do with these clamps is actually drill new holes a little further up rather than using these back holes. Because if we were to string the rubber band in these back holes, whatever you're clamping onto, say your piece of plywood, it wouldn't have much room to move back and your rubber bands probably won't tighten as well. In comparison, if we were to have the rubber bands up further and we're able to slide the plywood back more then your rubber bands are going to be able to tighten a little more and get a little more gripping power. Okay, so now that we got our holes drilled in our clamps, I'm going to show you how to take your rubber band and thread it through those holes and create your band clamp. But before I do that, I want to show you this other clamp. So this clamp has the rubber band threaded through it and I tied knots on both sides. And it works just like this, but I'm actually going to show you a way that you can actually yield more of your rubber band to create more clamps using just a few washers and a zip tie. Okay, so first I'm gonna take my rubber band, I'm gonna cut about a three inch section of it off. Then I'm gonna take one of these number 10 washers and also a small zip tie. I'm gonna take this washer and actually just thread it onto the rubber band here. And then once I have the washer on, I'm gonna take my zip tie and just do the zip tie really tight on top of the washer. And then now all you gotta do is thread this end of the rubber band through both sides of your clamp and then bring it out the other side. Okay, so now once you have it threaded through the other side, I like to just take it and tighten it like this, just pull it tight. And now squeeze your clamps open. Um, not all the way, but just about. And you'll see the rubber band will stretch through the hole. And then you can go ahead and close it. That is where I'll end up putting another washer on top of here. And then again, taking another zip tie and tying it over the washer to hold it in place. Once you have your zip tie on, and tightened as tight as you can get. We can go ahead and cut off the excess zip tie and the excess rubber band. So 
so I got a piece of pine plywood here and a piece of pine edge banding that I cut on my table saw. And now I'm gonna show you how these band clamps work.